Now, in the second must-know pattern, it's very, very close to the first one. It's just one subtle difference. And let me just pl play it for you. Let me just play it for you, and then we'll go back and kind of break it down. All right, here it is. Oh, sorry, I started on the C chord. Okay, so it's very similar to that first pattern, but let's go ahead and put our pick down and just, I'm just gonna tap it. So it's bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, ba. Okay, you want to get that pattern, be able to tap it or clap it or whatever before you start to strum it. The next step is to strum it. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's do it again. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One more time. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, now we're going to add the chords to it. The chords are going to be C, and it's a C chord with instead of having this open E here, I actually am going to bring my pinky, I'm going to play G. It doesn't change the chord because the notes of the C chord are C, E, and G. So this note here is going to be just part of that chord. It's just a little bit different way to play a C chord. And it also provides a pivot note for the G chord. So when you go from C to G, all you got to do is go from here to here. And this is that form that I was mentioning in one of the other videos that you need to know because when you go from C to G, it's easier to switch like this instead of having to go from here to that, okay? Because then you lose your pivot note. So keep it here, you got your C like this, and then when you go to the G chord, you simply move it down. Okay, so these chords are C and G. That's all this to it. Now that we know the rhythm, down, down, up, up, down, up, and we know the chords, C and G, now we can start to put together very slowly. And then all you do, once you can do that and make the chord changes smoothly, is you speed it up.